Hi guys, so I'm James from Effective Fit Strength and Conditioning. Welcome back. Today I'm going to be showing you three exercises that will help improve your strength on the football pitch. The first one we're going to be going through is the RDL, so the Romanian deadlift. With this, this is going to help our hamstrings. Now it's important with the hamstrings because the amount of sprinting we do, the changes of directions, it is important to have those strong hamstrings. So this one I'll show you as the best one for that. Then we're going to go into a split squat. The split squat is our unilateral work. So unilateral just means single leg, single arm. And we're going to be doing single leg with our uh, split squat. Then I'm going to go through the landmine jerk. So this is all our power. So this is a triple extension, which is our hip, knee and ankle, which helps with our sprinting. So this is going to help perform power in our sprinting, which is also good on the football pitch. So these are the three we'll go through. With strength, regarding your football, you want to be try at least be doing strength training once a week. If you can manage two, brilliant. But with that, you also want to, so if you play on a Saturday, you want to do your strength training before, sort of like around about Wednesday, as far away as possible from the Saturday game, so it just helps with recovery, okay? So, yeah, we're going to be looking at doing sort of five reps of each and three sets. And with that, so especially with the landline jerk, this is also going to help with core, because when we start to load up that weight and we go through the movement, we need to keep that core nice and tight so that we're not sort of wobbling over. So it's important to, with those reps, it's not, you don't want to do like sort of five reps and that's too easy and we move on. If we can, we increase that weight enough that that five reps is enough to show uh, like it's hard work. We want it to be hard work, um, but not too hard work that we, we can't manage the weight. If that's the case, we just drop it back down again. Okay, so these are the three we're going to go through. So let's go get it. So with the setup with the RDL here, we just want a slight bend in our knees. We don't want them locked out. As we're dropping with the weight here, we want to keep a nice straight back and we're pushing our glutes towards the wall. So keeping our feet shoulder width apart, but you'll feel the tension in your hamstrings here. And as we come up, we want to squeeze those hamstrings and the glutes at that point there. When we add the weight, you'll see the weight will just sort of hover or just touch the floor as we come through. As soon as you feel that tension, that's when you want to come back up. But again, keeping it straight back and squeezing those hamstrings at the top point there. With the split squat, you just take yourself away from the squat rack there and we're taking a split stance and we want to keep our feet shoulder width apart. So you'll see from this angle here, feet are still shoulder width apart. I've put a mat down, a little cushion, just to stop our knee from hitting the floor, but keeping a nice straight back as we go through them reps. With the landmine jerk, so this is an explosive exercise. So as you'll see, when they're punching through the air with the right arm, it's the left leg that kicks forward. And when we punch through with the left arm, it'd be the right arm leg that kicks forward. We want to keep our core nice and straight, uh, tight so that when we punch through and we're at that top point, when we're here, we don't want to be wobbling from side to side. So keeping that core nice and tight. But yeah, just punching through, nice and explosive. There we have it. So that concludes today's video. So the remaining deadlift, split squat and the landmine jerk are three exercises I think you should add into your gym program to help you become faster and stronger on the pitch. I hope you enjoyed it. I'll see you next time.